Good morning, sir. We are doing final review of our project regarding uh, designing of filters and differentiating them with IIR and FIR uh, using noise cancellation process. Uh, abstract of our project. Here we are comparing four types of filters. Low pass, high pass, band pass, uh, band stop. And with the help of IIR, infinite impulse response and FIR, finite impulse response. Nowadays, we see different types of headsets are releasing and uh, one of the model in noise cancellation headsets. Here the noise cancellation headsets works on application of IIR and FIR. So here we are going to differentiate them and going to know how the process takes place. And we will do by using MATLAB. Expected outcome. Here we get to know how the frequency varies between the filters and its applications. Like in the example of noise cancellation headsets and we got to know what is IIR and FIR? How it works in different filters? Firstly, we should know what is IIR and FIR. IIR, infinite impulse response. IIR filter has time delay varies with frequencies and it is slow in processing and high ordered. It is always stable and constant at delay. FIR, finite impulsive response. FIR filter has equal time delay at all frequencies and it is fast in processing low ordered and it is unstable sometimes doesn't have constant delay so here we are comparing all four types of filters with IIR and FIR and we will get their magnitude response and usually IIR and FIR has very high frequencies so to get them to the way we needed we use different types of filters for example usually IIR has very high frequency to get into low frequency, we use low pass filter and it makes it to get low. This is how the process works, sir. Firstly, the major motive of our quality is to explain the difference between the magnitude that occurs between the low pass filter and high pass filter for different frequencies. We will come to know that using the MATLAB code. Here is the code, we go with that. For the low pass FR filter, we first have to enter the frequency pass and the stop frequency. The frequency pass is to know that what frequency limit we have to allow for the signal attenuation. And the frequency stop is the frequency that denies the frequency and allows the rest of the frequency. Using this code, we have to enter the A pass, A pass and the sample frequency. With that, we will come to know the graph of that frequency. Here, for the uh, low pass filter, the left side of the signal will be allowed to go for attenuation. The right side will be denied. The same with the uh, low pass IAR filter. So, our product aim is to for this magnitude, we have to ca cancel some noise and attention to get the required outcome. So here is a MATLAB code for filtering uh, noise cancellation using different type of filters. So here now we are giving the orders N and and 9 and 49 and we are observing the frequency lag between them. Okay, so now, now we are giving for N is equal to 9 order. So now here we are giving the inputs. So here we can see the output. We, we have three graphs here. So one is the signal we give, we have given. Here is a sign signal with noise, and we got the filtered signal. You can see the. Uh <laughs> so here is the first output graph for the given values, and n is equal to nine order. We have the sign signal with noise here. Um, it has more disturbances. We can see it, and here is the filtered signal. It has a low disturbance, and it is clear. And we have another figure here. Uh, it is the Butterworth low, low pass IR filter coefficient. We, ca we can see how the graph goes and here is the magnitude and phase response of the IRR Birdwatt filter uh, we, ca we can see the graphs here now giving the value now giving the values for n is equal to 49th order and we can see the uh, difference between the two graphs okay so here we are uh, giving the output for n is equal to 49th order I am giving the values here
So here we can observe the graphs here. Here is the Butworth low pass IR filter coefficient uh, for the n is equal to 49. Uh, we can compare. Th we can we can compare this. We can we can compare the graphs here. See, it is more uh, wide, and here it is more narrow. And here is the graph for uh, magnitude and phase response IR uh, Butworth filter where we can compare these two. Uh, we we can see a we can see a lag, lag between uh, n is to 9 and n is to 49. Uh, when n is to 49 order is given, the fre uh, the frequency graph shows a bit lag. And here uh, for the higher order, the noise can noise cancellation is applicable more. Result. Now we here came to know about how to design a variety of IIR and FIR digital filters. Shown that a low pass filter used to know about the noise cancellation process. Differentiating of filters and came to know how a type of filter works in different frequencies and how to use it accordingly. Uh, conclusion of our project. Here we worked on IR and FIR, used them with four types of filters and concluded it that accordingly for the frequencies given and differentiate between IR and FIR with their magnitude responses.